So now we've looked at a relatively simple logic model, but it has to be a bit more complex for program design. So we are going to look and take our three basic elements of inputs, outputs, and outcomes and make them a bit more detailed. And one thing to remember is that it's often easier to build your logic model from right to left rather than from left to right. So in other words, start with the long-term outcome. What is the impact that you want your program to have? So let's say we want to reduce neonatal mortality. So our next step would be to identify what is the medium outcome that would need to happen in order for neonatal mortality to be reduced? What would lead to a reduction in neonatal mortality? So let's say there are many different things that can be done, but we decide to focus on making sure that newborns nurse within one hour of birth. So our short, our medium, sorry, our medium outcome would be to that newborns are nursed within one hour of birth. This we would expect if newborns are nursed within one hour of birth, then it would normally lead to some reduction in neonatal mortality. But what would we have to have happen in order for mothers to nurse their babies within one hour of birth? What is the short-term outcome that would lead to this medium-term outcome? Maybe mothers don't know the importance of early breastfeeding. Maybe they're not confident that they have the skills necessary. Or maybe there are cultural issues that uh, keep mothers from giving their child breast milk within the first hour of birth. So these are all things that we need to look at in our short-term outcomes. And we need to, to look at what kind of change in knowledge or confidence in skills or cultural issues would need to happen in order for mothers to be able to breastfeed their baby within one hour of birth. So in order for mothers to increase their knowledge and skills, who would we need to reach? Um, this is where we look at the outputs and who would need to be targeted in those outputs. Who is the most important person in deciding whether a baby is breastfed right after birth. That may be the husbands, it may be the mothers, it may be the TBAs or the midwives that are helping the mother to give birth. Whoever is the important people in, in helping to transmit this knowledge of the importance of breastfeeding soon after birth, we would need to target. Those are going to be our participation outputs or who we will reach. So then, in order for us to reach those participants, what activities would we have to do? That might mean community meetings, it might mean trainings, it might mean support groups, different types of activities. So these would be what we would do. Those are output activities. And finally, what resources would we need to carry out these activities? And those are our inputs. So once we have built the model, from right to left, then we can read the if-then logical connections from left to right. So if we have train, training materials, trainers, support groups, and leaders, which are our inputs, then we can hold community meetings, carry out training sessions, and form women's support groups, which are our output activities. If we train mothers, TBAs, midwives, husbands, etc., those are our participant outputs about the importance of early breastfeeding for the health of the newborn, then we can reasonably expect that mothers will know that early breastfeeding is important for the survival of the newborn and cultural attitudes may begin to change, which then is our short-term outcomes that we are hoping for. And if mothers know about early breastfeeding and feel confident that they can breastfeed their newborns, then they will be more likely to breastfeed their baby within one hour of birth, which is the medium-term outcome we are looking for. And if they breastfeed their baby within one hour of birth, then the newborn will be less likely to die, thus leading to our long-term outcome of a reduction in neonatal mortality. So this seems quite complicated, but once you start getting into your own team project, I'm sure that these different elements will become 
quite clear. So let's try it out. Let's do a short exercise and practice identifying different elements of the logic model. So stop your slides and take out your logic model lingo exercise. So for each of the phrases in the list, identify the corresponding logic model element. Is it an input, a resource that will go into the program? Is it an output, an activity or a participant, somebody that the program reaches? Or is it an outcome, a short-term outcome, a medium-term outcome, or a long-term outcome? This, some of the phrases are tricky and they can be more than one element depending on what the program goal is assumed to be. So when you are looking at the phrases and deciding what is the correct logic model element, think about what the goal of the program might be. And this will help you to more easily identify whether it's an input or an output or an outcome. So once you finish, restart the slides and we will discuss a few of the responses. Okay, so how did it go? Were you able to identify fairly easily what were inputs, outputs, and outcomes? Sometimes people really find it difficult to figure out what is the difference between output activities and output participation. And in your exercise, they did not ask you to do that. They just asked you to identify whether it's an output or not. So let's look at a few examples from your logic model exercise and let's uh, try to decide, is it an activity or a participant outcome? So let's take the first one. Uh, training programs included seminars and workshops. What do you think? Do you think this is a participant activity or an output activity or a participation output? Probably since it has something to do with training or creating curriculums or producing a radio spot, etc., it's more likely to be an output activity. It's something that the program does. Training programs include seminars and workshops. The second one, parents from around the state attended. What do you think? Is this a training or, sorry, an output activity or an output participation? A participation output is usually a beneficiary of an activity. So parents from around the state attended would seem to be a participation output since it would be the result of some activity that we were carrying out in our program. But the third example here is a little bit more confusing. Teen mentors were trained. What do you think? Do you think that this is an output activity or an output participation? At the first look, teen mentors would seem to be participants, but then it says we're trained. So is this an activity or a participation output? If we had more information or had the full logic model in front of us or the goal of the program, we might be more easily able to identify this, but most probably we are looking at an out output participation since teen members are, teen mentors are likely to be the persons who we are targeting in our intervention and so they would be the participants in our activities. So if you're still a bit uncertain about the difference between our